Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and in this video, I want to demonstrate how to uh, edit the Condi Partner Catalog, the blank catalog for your web page, or to uh, open in your Corel Draw versions and edit and critique it as you want for your business. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is show you where to find it on our PartnerNet site and uh, know that you have to be logged in or registered for PartnerNet to access or download any file. This is a huge file so uh, it's going to take a long time to download so likely I'll just pause the video and then get back to it uh, where we're going to edit it in Corel Draw. This catalog will only be um, uh, something that you can open in Corel. It only works with Corel. We created in Corel and so uh, you'll only edit it in Corel. Make changes to it and I'll show you what changes you can make or demonstrate some changes so that uh, I, you know, it's explained better to you how to use this to your benefit. Okay, so getting started you of course must be on the uh, Condi webpage as I am. Uh, you're going to click on support uh, if you don't know how to get to Condi, it's C-O-N-D-E dot com. Uh, you can get to support from uh, the from Condi dot com by just simply clicking just as I just did on the tech support. Uh, make sure that you're logged into PartnerNet. So it's going to say log in. I've already logged in. Um, if you're not uh, registered for PartnerNet, make sure you get with your account manager to do so. Your account manager here at Condi. Um, if you don't have an account manager, uh, you want to give us a call. Uh, we have contact number right here on, on our Condi web page as well. So to access PartnerNet, you must be a Condi client. All right. Once we're into PartnerNet, we can scroll down um, from where you've logged in. And the some of the first thing that you, or one of the first things you're going to see without changing onto any of these things in the menu is our Condi blank partner catalog okay so once you've logged in you scroll down this is our little video area you're going to see some important downloads here and we consider the partner net catalog a, to be one of those uh, or, or should I say common downloads that our clients want so once you click on it it's going to take you to a page where you can see that it's a zip file okay and as with any zip file once you download it you have to extract the contents okay so make sure you have a good program like WinZip 7 or um, something compatible to that so once you click on it here it's going to start it's going to ask you how you want to download it or open it I always save things I like to save things first I think it's much easier so I'm going to click save and um, I'm going to go ahead and click on view download and as you can see this is a huge file and it's going to take a little while to download so um, I'm going to pause this video we're going to get pick up on it uh, here in just a second where our file is located and uh, we're going to open it in Corel and I'm going to show you how to use it okay so just stand by for that okay so uh, we have completed the actual download and based on your settings on your PC is where you would have uh, sent the file to. So mine is in my downloads. So to quickly get to it, I'm just going to click on downloads. And I'm going to show you um, how to extract the file. So um, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to say extract all. And it's asking me where I'm going to extract the file to. So you can click on your browse and find a destination or you can use the des the destination that has uh, created for you here which is which is in my downloads here and I'm just gonna click extract now it might take a second and now I'm ready to right click and open this folder and as you can see this is a PDF now I'm going to go ahead and tell you that uh, once I click this to open it, 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 I'm sorry. Once I click on this to open with Corel Draw, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to pause again because it's going to take a long time to open this in Corel. So don't think that your Corel is frozen up or that it's not working because there's a lot of pages, a lot of graphics, and a lot of images that it's going to be opening, and that's going to take a long time. So just bear with it. Uh, right click and we're going to say open with 
I'm just like open with and then we're going to click on our corral. I'm going to go ahead and click that. That's going to take a while. There's 44 pages. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to pause this while it uh, completes uh, opening these files. Okay, so now I have uh, everything open here in Corel. I have 44 pages, uh, starting with page 1 here that you can see the front cover. Uh, and to click over to all your other pages, um, well, of course, you can move uh, to the very end by clicking on the, the this arrow here with the stop in front of it. And there's the 44th page. Or we can go back to page one. Or we can just page up one at a time just by clicking the arrow here. Okay? So we can go or advance forward or advance back one page at a time by clicking the arrow here. If we want to go all the way back or all the way to the end, we click this one here with the bar in front of it. That takes us all the way to the end. We can also add pages, delete pages by clicking the add. Um, so basically, if you wanted to add a page between uh, something, you would go to that page number, say page 4, and then you could add another page in between 4 and 5, okay? But I'm not going to do that, but I do want you to know that that is possible and optional on your end. I'm going to go back to page 1. I'm just going to hit this one right here. And I just want to demonstrate uh, the things that you can do with this document okay for your business the changes you can make now what I do want to say is that you you can remove individual images but you cannot remove um, the wording within those images say for instance um, this is an image and it's taken but you can't remove the wording within uh, the image of the balloons here, but you can remove particular images by clicking on them one by one, okay? So those are things that you can do. Okay, let's go back. Now, what you can do with this is you can customize this page however you want, highlight its wording, and change it to whatever um, whatever you want to. You can change the font, you can change the size of the font, um, for instance, Vicky's demo. Okay, you can whatever you want to do, however you want to do this. Uh, you can highlight the fonts here, uh, change its wording. Um, each one of these things are lines you can change to say whatever you want, or just completely remove it. Okay. So if we go to page two, again, if you want to remove these images or place an image in here of your own, your own artwork or something uh, particular to your business, you just click on the images, move and replace. And also, you can critique the wording. Just make sure that you're uh, using your tools appropriately over to the left. And then highlight or select particular items that you want to change or add pricing to, okay? And that's how you do that as well. Let's get back to the size. Uh, you can advance to any of these pages, uh, add pricing, um, kind of scroll in using your wheel on your mouse and add the pricing, remove things that doesn't pertain to your business or things that you would be selling. You can also remove pages by right clicking and deleting a page, okay? or you can insert a page after uh, and what I did is I just clicked on a page and then right clicked uh, I can switch page orientation I can insert a page after page one I can rename a page I can duplicate this page uh, and again I can insert a page before so all this these are things you can do in Corel and if you're a Corel user you probably already know some of this stuff but what I the purpose of this video is to show you what you can and, and can't edit uh, using our blank partner net catalog we get a lot of questions on downloading this file one of the questions is why does it 
uh, they think that something's wrong with it because it takes so long to download or when they go to open it they might try to open it in Photoshop and it doesn't work or other digital imaging software it will not work in um, this catalog can only be edited in Corel Draw it's saved as a PDF uh, because as you can read it as a PDF as um, any of you might know about PDF PDFs can be used in, in a lot of applications and it will open in a lot of uh, different software but you can't edit it what you can edit it in is Corel Draw, and that's what this demonstration is about is to show you what you can edit what you can do using the catalog for your individual needs uh, what things you can change I hope I've demonstrated that in this video if you have any questions or concerns feel free to give us a call here at Condi Systems my name is Vicki and as always I thank you for your time